I had a lot of questions regarding how I mount solar panels using Unistrut on my previous install or current install. So today's video, um, I want to show you how you can mount solar panels using Unistrut or Superstrut you can buy at Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot or any hardware store. So this is how we gonna, I'm going to show you the configuration. I hope you like this. I hope it makes sense. I hope it's going to help somebody who wants to do this on a very low budget instead of buying the uh, commercial grade. They're so expensive. Stay tuned. And this is just the assembly. I'll show you how everything goes step by step. aluminum with a uh, with um, you can mix a lot of metal with aluminum so uh, stainless steel tend to work pretty good with um, with the uh, aluminum so here he has a big washer white washer you can see it says unit struts there and the part number is 1063 you make a quick, quick demonstration here make sure they go this way it slides on see how it rides and this one will never come up you know you can't even get it out so it slides easily on the track there are other um, lock screws here lag screws galvanized so these are ones if you want to use like drilling into your roof it depends what you want to use into your roof you can use any kind of um, uh, nuts or screws whatever you want to use no nuts um, bolts and whatever or how you call them you can get into it and drill all the way in your roof and this is the one that's gonna be anchor into this here you can take one of them and center right there and use a washer a white washer to hold this uh, rail down on the on your um, on your roof Okay, so these are all the other stuff that we're going to be using here, and um, I will show you quick, and what we already configured here. Alright, YouTube, this is how everything is set up here. You can see this ones. Um, it's already fixed. I took one of them and uh, put them to one of the uh, original holes there, and uh, just having like one of these, it's already... You screw this one all the way down here and that's what I did I put one on the panel one of the holes right there and this one is upside down so I'm gonna show you how it's gonna slide on the track and all the way so but mind you uh, guys uh, these are just 80 waters uh, solar panels here I want to demonstrate for you guys to see I have a lot of questions people been asking I uh, hope this video is not going to be too long, but uh, I want to make a complete sense to people. Some people are kind of skeptical about how um, 
you can use a, a unistruts or superstruts on on, on um, solar panels inst or installing solar panels on a roof. It's very easy. It's not hard. It's cheaper, not too expensive compared to the commercial grade. If you have the money, you can spend it. This is for people that doesn't have the money and they want to utilize it to go about the thing so they can be part of the family of the solar. I hope I can make sense and I hope this video helps some people and stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm going to be showing you I'm, what I'm going to do, sliding the panel on the rails, just like a train track. So it's kind of, it's not hard. It's easy because this track's going to be on the roof already. You already have them on your roof. So we're just going to slide the panels. They're going to slide easily. There we are. There's first panels coming in and uh, it's going to slide from this side oh, okay. all right so now we're gonna slide the panels we already have them all uh, parallel to the tracks and we're just gonna slide these to see how easy it is so make sure the last side of it is gonna hook up to the other track here and see the other side is there. Voila. So there we are. One panel in. So we're gonna do the same thing again on the next module. So the second panels in. See how they glide right really nice and smooth. As long as you get the rail really tighten up or lay them straight how they're supposed to be. That's how you mount solar panels on a on a unit strut and the easiest way so here comes the question now people has uh, always worried how do I protect or safeguard these panels from coming out or how they're gonna hold on to the to the tracks or to the rails so a simple thing to fix this thing just like other people normally use the meat clamps here when you buy um, the professional ones, you have a mid clamp, and the mid clamps get right in the middle here, which um, the panel is gonna be uh, an angle like this. You have a like a bolt like this coming up, so they have something similar to this that sits right there, and and anchor and hold the two panels down like this. So, you see, I think. The unit strut is really better because you have them on a rail, on a track, so they would never fall. Even this thing goes, you know, it will never fall vertical or horizontally, nothing. Because they hold on to the tracks right here. As you guys seen, this, uh, this device right here, which is the, uh, the top grip nut, it has, it has, uh, um, grips right here it slides into so the mid clamps are just so, something like this um, object and uh, it's going to hold the panels down into the uni rack or whatever you call them is holding them to the rack but the uni struts is way 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 simpler and better because there's nothing nothing I, I don't have to use the mid clamp at all if I want to I can use this washer I can use this washer, uh, this main device right here. Or I can use this device right here, like a big washer, and hold this panel down. Okay? And, or else, I can able to use, I can go this way, or I can use another uh, uh, metal like this and hold the panel down by having the bolts come all the way up if I have a longer bolt. So you can use that as well to hold on the panel, which is the traditional, how uh, everybody knows or they think it's safer to protect or secure your panels uh, in case of wind or, or snow or hail or anything but this way is the best way okay I choose to do this because I think it's safer it's safer it looks beautiful because there's no gap in between so it's not gonna be any salt or whatever the moisture sorry the moisture from the the, the weather and um, 
it's just like snow started building in between here if you use like the 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 mid clamps so and you have the end clamps here i'm going to be showing you the end clamps uh, on a professional version which i'm going to be which i improvise using my stuff right here which is this guy it sits right there and hold this panel for moving it's not going anywhere by using this other device underneath it okay so um the end clamp and mid clamp so i don't need a mid clamp because you're going to be having a gap like this which um snow probably is going to be building up in between this uh uh device that's going to cause uh more um uh snow built up you're going to have a bank getting higher and and covering part of this panel and shadowing that's the word shadowing this part of the panel which i don't want to I don't want that to happen and I can have all these panels by doing that you saving spaces like this if you have a, <clears throat> a big string of panels you can go this space you keep on having having two inches two inches two inches two inch you can end up having another panel to sit in there if like for example there's uh, six panels you can able to put seven panels on one string so let me show you before this video get too long how you are gonna do the termination on this instead of having a mid clamp and just using end clamp. My end clamp is gonna be this. Stay tuned. So all you do now, you see, I have a 14 wrench right here. If you guys can see. It's a 14. So okay. Then I can use this one and just tighten up these bad boys right here. And make sure you get them all the way the way you want them and lock the stuff. Tighten up. There you go. And come back here and do the same thing. Tighten up this one as well. Sorry. All right, folks, uh, we've done it again. This is a clear representation how it looks like on the roof. And uh, this is how it looks like. And the panels are all going to be um, already configured. And you see, instead of having a mid clamp right here, we have an end clamps that holds the entire device. I'm going to be showing you now how I'm going to lift up this rack. Uh, straight or vertical you see this track doesn't go anywhere okay stay tuned all right folks you see that that's a complete rack right now it's not going anywhere it's all fastened up no wind no nothing nothing is happening because the end clamps right down there is already fixed and you guys can see all you're gonna do grounding the solar panels all the way from each module one way to the other on the sides and everything so this is the completion how you uh, set up uh, solar panels using um, unistrut or super strut on your roof the easiest and simplest way and cheapest way right here thank you for watching I hope this one makes sense now. I hope you guys can understand this. And the panels are not going anywhere. You can see they're all fastened up. They're not going anywhere. They're all tight. So, nothing. Nothing. So, thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video. And I hope I'll um, answer your questions. A lot of people will be wondering. A lot of people will be asking questions. So, finally, I decided to make um, a video today. And show you guys how... Uh, you mount solar panels using um, unistrut or super strut the easiest way and the cheapest way thanks for watching subscribe like and share bye for now